In this video, we're going to talk about the new D-Box Plus for Alexa Mini. It's a combination video and power distribution box with the gold mount and V-mount plates machined directly into the case to be very small and lightweight. It interfaces with the camera's power, EXT, and HDSDI ports to break out into three HDSDI, two HDMI, two D-taps, two three-pin fissures at 24 volts with start-stop capability, two two-pin LIMOs at 12 volts, a 5-volt USB, a 7-pin EXT port which interfaces with the Starlight monitor, and a full-size 4-pin XLR DC input that accepts 11 to 17 volts. The D-Box Plus can attach to any standard V-mount or gold mount hole pattern by first removing the four screws on the front of the case, which separates the back plate. This can then attach to our battery slide, the Airy BAP1 or 2, as well as the RAB1. You can also attach directly to the battery swing bracket by the three screw holes located on the bottom of the D-Box Plus. This allows you to have quick access to your media slot. In this configuration, we're powering the D-Box off of our DC input using a block battery. You can see that indicated by the LED on the side here. And once we add our onboard battery, the DC input light is still illuminated because the DC input source is powering the camera. It's only until the DC input is removed that it switches over to the onboard battery. Another feature of the D-Box Plus is that we've replaced traditional fuses with a processor-controlled current limit. You can set the limit using the switch on the side here. We have 3.8, 5.8, and 9 amps for accessory power. As an example, I have a D-Tap wired to a load resistor to simulate an overcurrent situation. Once the accessory is plugged in, you can see that we've tripped our overcurrent limit this has cut off power to our accessories, but the camera still maintains power. It's only until we remove the excess load that we can push the reset button and our accessories begin to receive power. These products are all available in our store now.